In this video, you will learn how to simulate a single stage fine blanking process using isothermal module of Avdex 2D, the intelligent metal forming simulator. Let's get started with the process type first. Since the geometries of the workpiece and the dies are symmetric with respect to the rotational axis, we will carry out a 2D axisymmetric simulation. The temperature change is neglected in the simulation. The information about the material is given on the left side. The dimensions of the workpiece are as shown in the figure on the left. The material of the workpiece is a steel grade and its initial temperature is equal to that of room temperature. Chlorinated oil is used as a lubricant in this fine blanking process. Therefore a corresponding friction formulation will be selected. A constant velocity condition will be used in the simulation as the material is rate independent. The upper die will move downward with a constant velocity of 1 mm per second and the lower die will remain stationary. A blank holding force of 50 kN will be imposed on the binder die. A force of 100 kN will be imposed on the workpiece through the ejector die. The problem definition is complete. The result of the simulation can be seen on the right side. So now, let's see how we can simulate this process using FDEX. Double click on FDEX icon to execute FDEX in your computer. Click on new to define a new process. In this process information window we will clearly define the process type. This is axisymmetric cold forming process. Note that this kind of fine blanking process can be considered one of stages in forging or plate forging. Select plate forging under the forming process type on the left side. Select cold forming and 2D axisymmetric simulation. We select Newton as the unit of force. So the unit of stress will be megapascal. This will be a flow analysis which means only the mechanical effects of deformation of the workpiece will be considered in the simulation. Select rigid plastic deformation type. This means the elastic component of deformation is neglected in the simulation as it is insignificant. Since this process does not have any flash, select regular type under flash. Click OK. This is the main window of FDEX. We will use the toolbar to set up the simulation step by step. First step is to import the geometry. Click on model, from file and then select the geometry file in DXF format. Click open and then click OK. Click yes to make the overall process automatic. Note that you can get this geometry file inside your FDEX installation folder. Let's move on to the second step which is to define the material property. Click on Material, from Library and then select the steel grade AISI underscore 1010, T equals 20 degrees Celsius, and then click Load. This will load the material into the simulation. Now click Close. The third step is to define the press machine type. As you know, we will use a constant velocity press. For using that, click on Press, Manual, Enter minus 1 in the fifth column of the table. This means, making the press move downwards, in the negative y direction, with a constant velocity of 1 mm per second. Click OK. The fourth step is to select the friction formulation. Click on Friction, from Library and then select Soap underscore Cold, Steel, click Load and then Close. The next step is to define the blank holder force and the force exerted by the ejector on the workpiece. For doing this, click on Die, Type Manual. Select binder versus time from the drop down list. Click add twice. This will add two new rows for data entry. Now enter data as you see on the screen. For a time of zero second, enter a force value equal to 50 kN. For a time of 100 seconds, enter a value equal to 50 kN. Click OK. Now it's time to define the ejector force. We will again use the same procedure. Select binder versus time from the drop down list. Click add twice. This will add two new rows for data entry. Now enter data as you see on the screen. For a time of zero second, enter a force value equal to 100 kN. For a time of 100 seconds, enter a value equal to 100 kN. Click OK. The properties that were loaded so far will be assigned to the respective entities now. Right click on the steel grade and select to work pieces. 
This will assign the material gray to the workpiece. Select V equals 0, minus 1, 0, drag it and drop it over upper tie. Right click on soap underscore cold, steel, and then select to upper and lower dies. This will assign the friction formulation to all the dies in the simulation. Select binder 1, drag it and drop it over upper die 2. Select binder 2, drag it and drop it over lower die. Now we have completed the definition and assignment of properties to the dies and the workpiece. The next step is to position the dies properly. For this, we will use the positioner tool of Avdex. Double click on stage 1 and click on positioner icon on this toolbar. Click auto icon. This will enable automatic positioning of the dies. Click OK. For stage 1 stroke definition, double click on forming 1. This will open the forming control window of stage 1. Select distance from the drop down menu next to stop criterion and enter a value of 3. After entering this value, click on the icon with the 3 dots. This will open a new window. Now select two nodes as you see on the screen. After selecting these two nodes for stroke control, click OK. This is the stop criterion for this stage, meaning that, when the distance between these two selected nodes reaches a value of 3 mm, the solver will automatically stop the simulation. After doing this, click on Output Divisions. We will increase the number of solution steps used in the simulation. Select user defined below number of solution steps, enter a value of 500. Click OK. Since this is a fine blanking process simulation, I will use this opportunity to demonstrate the local mesh density function in Avdex. Before using the local mesh density function, you must be aware of the die numbering and point ID terminology in Avdex. The die numbering starts with the first upper die and it increases sequentially from there on. Upper die will be die ID 1. Upper die 2 will be die ID 2. Lower die will be die ID 3. Lower die 2 will be die ID 4. To know the point ID, double click on the DXF file under any one of the dies. This opens the geometry file in a new window. Now click on auto edit. This displays the point ID for every point in the die. This way, you can know the point ID for every coordinate in a die. Double click on process control and click on I default. Click on the I default column next to 15. This will open a new mesh density window. From the drop down list, select circle, plus 2 use die corner. We will use a die to create a local mesh next to this die corner. Enter a die ID equals 1. Point ID equals 2. Radius equals 2. Weight equals 3. Click add. Again enter the following information. Enter a die ID equals 4. Point ID equals 1. Radius equals 2. Weight equals 3. Click Add. Click OK. Now click on Step in the Process Control window. And check the Force Remeshing Before First Step option. This ensures that the local mesh refinement is created in the first solution step itself. Click OK. We are almost done with the simulation setup process. We just have to save the simulation, check, and run it. Click on the Save icon. Enter a file name. And then click save. Your simulation file is now saved. The final step is to check the simulation to see if we have set it up correctly. Click on the tick mark button on the toolbar. In the window that opens, click check. This will let you know the error messages if there are any. The notice messages can be ignored at this step. After making sure that there are no error messages, click run. This area shows stage-wise and overall progress of the simulation. On the right side are the different state variables that can be visualized based on the simulation. You can explore more on this section to investigate the state variables of your interest. The media tools here allow you to visualize the deformation behavior of the process.